So it's very frustrating to try to prove that you're Native American. I found it frustrating for me because I was like, where is it? You know, I know that I'm Islamic, that I'm Islamic, that I'm Islamic. And I know, well, Islamic, if you want to call it that. We sent the sample of your DNA to the DNA Di Diagnostic Center in Cincinnati. And I have your results, Snoop. Mm. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm also ready. Snoop Dogg, you are 0% East Asian. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't got no Asian in me. I yeah. like Chinese food. Snoop, you are 23% Native American. Oh. That's, that's, that's pretty big. That's, that's real big. big. Now, let's get the shocking results. And it was really funny because I just knew my great-grandmother had some African descent. And I love African. I think it's beautiful to have African-American. It's like, it's, I think it's awesome. And I think it's a beautiful thing to have African in you. I just think it's kind of cool that, um, you know, when you see people that have gone through a lot and they've overcome and they're still here doing great things, you know, I, I just like, um, I don't know, I just like history, I, but good history, you know, even if some of it might be, you know, sad, but the outcome is you're great, you know. The result says, dear Miss Domingue, it is with great pleasure that I report our Matricline Klein sequence similarity score is 100%, which means that we are 100% confident in your result. The bold letters indicate DNA sequence patterns that you share with this particular hologroup. Analysts determine your maternal lineage to be of Native American. Wow, I never thought Native American. That didn't even cross my mind. But guess what? That's still true. That's still a tribe. Mom, you got some cool, man, that's cool. African American and Native American, come on now. And I got some European in me, come on. Hey, Angel Rocks, get your DNA test. But family, if you're from uh, my mom's uh, lineage side, you know that you have Native American. And just checking things out and you know what? That, I'm really glad I did because I never knew. I never knew Native American. And they did send me a, a certificate of ancestry. And I will go and check out the, uh, I'll check out the uh, the sequences they gave me so I can check out the background of, um, of where they came through. So I love history. They always say, you know, put money in a book and um, nobody will find it because they say people don't like to read, but you put money in a book around me, you're going to lose your book and your money, okay? Because Angel likes to read. All right, brothers and sisters, my African-American family and now my Native American family. Hey, also, I got some European in me. So, um, hey, I'm all mixed up. So, love you guys. I'm glad you liked the, um, the uh, video and I hope you enjoyed. All right, God bless and peace out. Hey, peace. That's Native American. <laughs> Most people know that the first slaves in the state of New Jersey, sold in the state of New Jersey, were my ancestors. There were no Africans of any size in the mountain in North America at that time. The slaves they continued to hound about being escaped slaves were Indians. And when we ran away to such an extent to cow us, they sent us to the West Indies teach us and beat us and turn, learn us into good slaves and send us back if we made it. These people did such a good job. I would assume it was Mr. Willie Lynch's uh, plantation that when they got the science down correctly, they began taking the Africans that they couldn't control and sending them to the West Indies. So before this whole idea of cruelty and, di and, and the diaspora of the Africans began, it began right here in New Jersey on the ramparts. Didn't believe on even it didn't belong somewhere it's across the sea. It started right here, right here. This part of our history is what the school systems failed to mention in their history program. Well, you never find a white aborigine. Aborigines are called natives, or they're always dark-skinned people. 
You and I are aborigines. But you don't let them be called the aborigines. Malcolm X stated that the rock landed on us after he returned across the waters because he learned new things. He learned that the rock had truly landed on us and that we were from these lands. Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. The rock was landed on us. The rock was landed on us. <laughs> Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. Before the Pilgrim Fathers landed at Plymouth, we were here. So you got to really know your real history. And then uh, a lot of Asiatics notice, but if they tell that real history, they can't, they can't keep on promoting the diaspora, which is partly fiction. Because they, they didn't bring us from anywhere. We were already here. We were here for thousands of years. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. also stated in his I Have a Dream speech that we are held in exile in our own homeland. The, the Negro is still languished in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. Now, uh, we, we, we have a lot of scholars and, 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 and etymologists uh, out, out there and individuals are missing the point. You, how can you be held in exile in your own homeland without it being your own homeland? Mm. The definition of exile. As a noun, the state of being barred from one's native country, typically for political or punitive reasons. He knew now that he would die in exile. As a verb expel and bar from their native country, typically for political or punitive reasons. A corrupt dictator who had been exiled from his country. The definition of native as a noun, a person born in a specified place or associated with a place by birth, whether subsequently resident there or not a local inhabitant, one of the original inhabitants of a country, especially a non-white as regarded by European colonists or travelers. As an adjective, associated with the country, region, or circumstances of a person's birth, of the indigenous inhabitants of a place, synonyms, indigenous, original, First, earliest, aboriginal, autochthonous, the native peoples. The definition of indigenous, originating or occurring naturally in a particular place. Native, synonyms, native, original, aboriginal, autochthonous, the definition of aboriginal inhabiting or existing in a land from the earliest times or from before the arrival of colonists indigenous synonyms indigenous native the definition of autochthonous of an inhabitant of a place indigenous rather than descended from migrants or colonists unless you are and you know for a fact that you are the descendant of somebody that was brought here from Africa as a slave. Stop claiming that because most of you are not descendants of Af people that were brought here from Africa as slaves. During the entire, whole entire slave trade, less than 3% of all the slaves traded, less than 3% of them were brought here from Africa. The slaves they continued to hound about being escaped slaves were Indians. Were Indians. Were Indians. Now, if in fact your ancestors are amongst those people, then claim it and claim it with pride. Because they survived. But stop claiming things that you have no evidence of just because somebody told you in school that that is your story. Because they said it's not your story. There's a lot of there's a lot of evidence that is coming up recently that's showing that we was already here, that 
We are the fucking Indians.